give some chance for the Cubs to come and join. Really, for sure, the very last one in the city from Gitchi, because you can see the bell leaves are hanging. As I said, it happens around 12 o'clock up to 2 o'clock early in the morning. They've killed this buffalo here. It's quite a lot of cubs around here. You can see, I can see some of the cubs are heading away into thicket. Some of them are more on our right. So it's quite a few cubs around, which is in the area here. We just want to be relaxed and take our own time. You might see quite a lot of them. And pick them from the audio. Really for sure. Lions are hiding, but would like to check if we can go a little bit more forward than we can see. This is not a very simple sighting to view, although it's quite a lot of drainage line, we can't cross the other side. If we can, we might have a better view from the other side, but to cross this drainage line, of course, it will be a lot more difficult. Really, we can see the youngster now joining, and only the two males that are on the, on the kill now. The reason of that, the males are always like to protect the meat, and sometimes if meat are I mean, getting more scarce or more. If they, I mean, if meat are getting more scarce around and the kill is, if there's not a lot more meat around, what they will do, they will cover the meat, not a, not for a female to come and join. So, but here it's quite a lot of meat. So what they do, they don't want to go themselves eat because they don't know when they will have when they're going to make a next kill. Don't know for sure they must eat and food the bellies and sometimes they go and lie down or sometimes they lead themselves to the water so then they might lie on a shadow and the female will come and join and eat again really for sure it's one of the things that the lion likes to do quite a lot if it's too hot like this after eating they just lie underneath the shadow Now two cubs that sneaking slowly, slowly towards the cubs, but it's very difficult to see from our angle because it's a lot more thick. You can see slowly, slowly they're now part of the meat, and due to the respect of the male, they won't rush into the meat because really the male, the mud, push them away. Really they won't kill them because it belongs to them. As you know, males, if I become territorial, if they find the females with the youngster that doesn't belong to him, automatically what's going to happen is going to kill the cubs and be with the female until we get to the oestrus and mate with that particular female in order to protect his own cubs because it would be very difficult for their own cubs to come 
and challenge it, I mean, the parent or the dominant male in the same group. Because in nature, what they do, they avoid in breeding. So they have to go somewhere else and breed with the other male, with the other female. So you can see, really for sure, if it's windy here, it might be difficult to get my voice. For sure, in the interest of mating, it makes the youngster not to come back from the same part where they come from. They have to go somewhere. So the male, they really know that their own gene, the own gene, it won't challenge the fight to the parents. They have to go somewhere. So that's the reason they can't come. They won't kill the youngster from their own pride. They really want to leave them and go somewhere and do something else. So that's safe for the, these young ones. There's a four cubs which are normally at the same stage from the same cubs that you see earlier on in the camera. Three of them are the young ones, so one is the female. So really automatically they're going to stay being three all together if it's a male. And the other female have three cubs that joins here, which it gives up to six, six up to seven youngster which is around here. If any of that three that been brought in, two or one of them is a male, automatically they're going to join the other three males and they're going to stay together as a cohesion of four up to five males. And they're going to make sure the challenge of fight somewhere being all together. If they win, they're going to settle on the area wherever they were challenging a fight and start to operate with the female. The big entrance is mating. It's a really beautiful map, you can see. And it's really, really painting very fast, and that it helps quite a lot in the digestive metabolism of an animal that can digest very quick and come back to the meat again. Where the you see a female coming from the front from the male and just slowly approaching the male from the front. A lot more beautiful looking male as the female a lot more interested on the mane of the male if it's got a big mane it means it's a big male that is a lot more experienced about the life in the bush so really because of that the female won't hesitate to mate with the particular male if it's a lot more beautiful and looking as the two males that you can see they got those black men. Really for sure. It might be in the interest of the female if male have a lot more black Nice long man.